Hey guys, so our West Virginia COVID-19 DMV driver's test video was our most popular video on our YouTube channel. Um, a couple people had asked about like specifically the Taste Valley slash Winfield DMV. So me and Ashley came out here, I believe it was on Tuesday, and watched some people take their tests. We did some like reconnaissance style and see how they did it. And so we're here on a Sunday afternoon to give you guys a demo on how the driver's test works at the Winfield DMV. Robbie here. I'm playing the DMV employee who's given the test. Alex here. I'm playing the driver or the student taking the actual exam. Hey guys, it's Ashley. I'm the camera woman in this video. And Stephanie is playing the person with the driver's license or the mom in this video. Um, she doesn't like to go fast, so she's normally not in our videos. When you first come out, the first thing you're gonna, they're gonna have you do is get in the car, turn it on, and do your checks. Alex got his boot on there, let's see where he hurt his leg. It's his left foot so he can still drive. So the DMV person is just going to tell you how the test is going to go. He's going to do checks on the car, make sure the cars are in proper working order, and then you'll go over to where the parallel parking spot is, which is over there, by the mattress store. So the first thing that you're going to check are going to be your front lights, including your headlights, your bright lights, and both of your turn indicators. They will also go over uh, windshield wipers and hazard lights off. So it does the same in the rear. In the rear specifically, you will have to display your reverse lights. And then the last thing that you'll do will be to honk your horn. And this is as much a check of the car to make sure the car is in working order as it is to make sure you know how to move all the functions. Um, you don't want to show up in a car that has a headlight or tail light out because they'll fail you and you won't be able to continue with the test. So next your licensed driver will get into the car with you and you'll head over towards the parallel parking segment. So when you back out, and you should back out if you pull in, um, if you don't back out and you pull through, you can be deducted or failed because that is uh, incorrect. The way you will go over to the parking spot is you will go left or toward the Aldi and the Petco or PetSmart and go all the way to the end on the last row and turn left toward the parking spot. This is because it'll set you up to be on what would be the right hand side of the road or the correct position to parallel park. And the guy or the person from the DMV is watching you as you're driving here so you gotta follow all the rules of the road which really not on the road you're in the parking lot but still yet. And like I said the parking space here is right across from the mattress store. So you'll pull up uh, like you're going to get ready to park and then the guy, I keep saying guy, it's the DMV person, it could be a woman, and they're going to basically tell you about how to parallel park, uh, what can fail you, you know, what you could retry. Here I'm showing you the 18 inches from the curb, your tire's going to be inside that white spot, you're going to be touching the white. You can also practice at this location in the parallel parking area as long as it's not during DMV office hours. Yeah, that's what the, the little blue sign there by the parking spot actually tells you that. That's what, what that blue sign there says. It is important to use your turn indicators whenever you are going in or out of the parking spot. It's an easy thing for the instructor to uh, spot while you're, they're watching you. Yeah, because you're worried about getting it in there and then you, you go, I got it, got it in there right. And then you forget to put your turn signal on when you're pulling out. 
you got to remember to do that. So he, he's explaining how to get back uh, to the parking spot because you got to take a specific route here. You're going to go through a couple of stop signs. It's also very important to stop before the white lines at the stop signs. They can automatically fail you if you stop after the line. And you are being watched for this portion as well, so you got to make sure to come to complete spot stops at all three of these stop signs. This is really the biggest part of this is this little intersection, which is kind of crazy because it's not that big a deal at all. And then you're going to turn back down here by Petco and Aldi. You don't have to park exactly where you were the first time, just try to make sure that you're somewhere that the DMV person can easily spot you. I forgot to mention there were <clears throat> people practicing there uh, when we were doing this video and I would highly recommend you go and practice parallel parking. Like Ashley said, you could you can go there as long as it not it's not during the normal DMV hours. And whenever he puts it in park here, just in a second, uh, the test is basically over at this point. And Alex did a good job pulling it back in the parking space. That's at this point, the instructor will come back to the vehicle and tell you if you passed or failed and take you back inside and do what you have to do. This guy that pulls in here does not do a very good job parking. Look at that, right on the yellow line. Horrible job. Can we take his license from him? <laughs> Stephanie didn't want to get back out of the car to do this little walk back to the DMV scene. She thought it was cold outside and she didn't want to get out. Anyway, that's about it. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. If you're taking your test here, we wish you good luck and hope that you pass. Also, share this with anyone that may you may think or know of that is taking the test also. That way they can see the tips that we just gave you. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel.